everyone, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Today I'm going to show you a altered book that I made. It's just an old book that I found at a garage sale for like 75 cents. Um, I altered it. It's actually for AccuCut's um, Grand Mark Challenge. So I've used all their dies and everything on this and it's I'm going to enter it in the repurposed recycled category. So I'll go, try to get through this. I may have to do two videos because there's quite a bit in it and I only have 10 minutes. I don't know how to make my videos longer. And I tried the other suggestions y'all gave me last time but for some reason it didn't work. So anyway, this is the cover. It's just a little scalloped mat, some pretty lace that one of my customers sent me. One of my clock hands turned on the other side and it's white and then flowers from my pink collection and my cream collection. And then this little guy is a piece of vintage jewelry. I broke it off. I put it on there. And this is a chipboard mat. This is this week's free digital image. It's beautiful. It comes eight to a sheet. So um, if you're not on my free list, you need to hop over to my blog and get on that. And then this week, you'll see throughout this book, this week's featured claw sheet. This is only part of it because I obviously used it but it's um, pansies, really pretty, and you'll see them in here. There's four different images, four different sizes. So, um, like I said, here's the book. What I did is I took out, just tore out pages, um, so there's room for embellishments and that kind of thing. So, and what I'm using it for is for my letters and um, cards and everything that, I, that um, you guys have sent me. So here, this is just a little chipboard frame that's painted with that Martha Stewart paint that I told you guys about before. A little image behind it, a little mat, a little cream of flower, and a little butterfly. And that makes a pocket to hold the cards and stuff. And then on this one, I use these really big pockets. I have these in my shop. I think I have them in craft and cream. Um, I can make them in any color, so if you want those and you want different colors, just um, email me and we can get that worked out for you. Here's a stamp. I think it's the French Travels or something. It's a new stamp set in my shop. Sweet little birds. It's a little postcard thing. Butterfly and then one of the week's images. I wish the lighting was better in here. I'm hoping it's going to come out okay. So that's that page. And also what I used were just all the, this is more like a smash book, it's just all the mishmash that I had in, thrown in drawers and that kind of thing. So it's die cuts that I made and maybe didn't use or that weren't completely perfect or, you know, like this one, I stamped a little crooked, but it's a smash book. I'm just going to be throwing stuff in here and I like imperfection. So anyway, this is a um, gate from the garden gate die. I just cut the arbor off in the post and made that into a little pocket. Another one of this week's images. And then I have one of my short front library pockets. This is an also accurate die, the Victorian mat. This is one of the large Victorian mats. I have these in my shop. I ha only have them in my shop in rows, but again, these can be made in any color. All right, and then this stamp is also from the French Travels. I'm calling it that. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm not positive, but you'll be able to find it. And then this um, stamp is also, it's a long stamp and I just did it all the way around. It's also part of the French collection. This is just a little place for journaling Oops. or pictures and then another little tag and that just pops right in there. And then on this one, this is a little chipboard butterfly. I have one of my um, clock hands and I just took the little circle part off the bottom and then a flower from my cream collection and a little scalloped mat behind there. This is one of my small Victorian mats and the, this was actually a custom die. And then this is a little journaling card that's available in my shop. 
this stamp is also available. And then I've got just some lace, a little butterfly, some flowers, um, a charm held on by one of the vintage um, garment pins. And just slide that under there. And I kind of, I like the way they kind of overlap and you don't know that it comes out. It just looks like a little continuous embellishment there. And in this page I have another one of those large envelopes. It's actually two back to back with the pages sandwiched in the middle. And then giant tag. Um, I'm not sure if I have these in my shop. It's a, it's a large fancy mat. Um, you can request it. It would be the same as the large Victorian mats. So just let me know. I'll try to get some in the shop. Another image from my shop. And again, this is that French Travels stamp. And that's just one all the way across. That's how long it is. Oops. And this other side, another one of those big fancy mats. And this is a <clears throat> this is one of the medium no it's one of my square Victorian ones and then this is also in my shop one of the images it's a really vibrant um, pansies image then just a little simple page just a scalp mat um, a rose and a hydrangea flower and like I said these embellishments I just had they were all laying around and like I did a video on using the Spectrum Noirs or this might have been the watercolor and I made it and tossed it in the drawer so it was really fun to be able to use up all my goodies in this book here's a stamp that I, I think this is watercolor distress ink that I used a little charm with a flower and vintage garment pin and then I also made I only glued on these two sides so I made that a pocket as well. And so these slide out. Okay. There's room for all kinds of things. And this is just one of my note cards. I put, I think this is a pink paisley um, journal card. I'm not positive though. So I can journal or um, you know, some of you write me really sweet emails. I'm just going to start printing some of those out and putting them in here as well. So that can go there. And oops, my hair glued in between. This is a card that I just received, and she asked me, um, Misty, can you guess what the butterfly is made out of? And it's from Lynn, and I think it's a soda can. I don't know, Lynn, is it a soda can? I didn't want to pull it up too much. Um, really cool though and I don't if you used a punch on that that's amazing so anyway thank you for that and just another mat this is that uh, um, has Paris and Eiffel Tower another one of this the um, French travel um, stamps sorry cannot think just a little trim I have from leftover paper and then here's two more of the images that I made into pockets. And I layered them on the small Victorian mats. And then here's a card that I received from Marilyn. Beautiful. So I already put that in there. Another really pretty image. And a little um, tag. So that is it. Hold on a minute. Looks like my... Let's see if this is plugged in right. It looks like it's telling me I'm going to lose time. So, anyway, that is the um, little smash book that I made. Again, this is this week's um, featured class sheet, and I'll have the drawing results on my blog. I'm not going to have time in this video. This week's freebie, and then here's another little album I started making with this week's, and I'm going to have. Um, these kits I think in my shop hopefully in the next couple of days so that's it thank you all for peeking and if I can answer any questions I'm always happy to and hop over my blog so you can get on the list thanks guys bye